And today I'm having fun outside. Do you like having fun outside? I really enjoy spotting things with my binoculars, like plants and animals, or even birds high up in the sky. Oh, hang on. There's something else up in the sky. <gasps> Do you know what that is? Yeah, that's right, it's a kite. Let's go and see. Wow, this looks like so much fun. But do you know how a kite works? Let's find out. How does it work? A kite. Look at all of these kites in different shapes and sizes. Like this one here. It looks like a beautiful bird, doesn't it? This kite is a type of diamond shape that we call a rhomboid. But I think my favourite is this one just here. For a kite to fly in the air, it has to be very light. And this kite is made of a material called nylon. And nylon is really strong, but very thin. Now, can you see this piece here that goes from the top all the way to the bottom of the kite? That's called the kite's spine. And if I turn it over, we can see this piece that goes across the kite, and that's called the cross spar. But attached to the spine, we have this piece of string that we call the kite line, and it's what we hold on to when we fly the kite in the air. When we fly kites, we have to make sure that the area is big and it's free from any trees, roads or power lines. This one is just right. Ready, guys? Three, two, one, up! <laughs> wow! Can you hear the sound of the kites flapping in the wind? To fly a kite safely, we need to make sure the wind's not too strong or too light. So to find out how strong the wind is today, I'm going to use this very special machine, and it's called an anemometer. The anemometer spins round, and it's telling me that the wind speed today is around 10 miles per hour, and I think that will do just right. The best way to launch a kite is with two people, and Bill is a kite flying expert. He's going to help me launch the kite by holding on to it whilst I roll out the kite line. You ready, Bill? Yep. OK. Now, I need to stand with my back to the wind, pull on the kite line. Bill is lifting the kite up. Here it goes. There it goes! We're flying a kite! To get the kite higher, I can let out the kite line a little bit at a time. Wow, it looks absolutely beautiful up there. But how does a kite fly in the sky? To find out, I'm going to film Bill flying this kite with my special camera. This is my special slow motion camera, and it helps me to see things slowed right now. Can you see the kite catching the wind and lifting up into the air? The curved shape of the kite and the way it tilts as it flies means that air moves over the top of it faster than the air moving underneath. This creates lift, pushing the kite up into the sky. The stronger the wind, the more lift there will be. 
we can also feel the wind trying to blow the kite away. This creates something called drag. To stop the kite just blowing away, we pull on the kite line and this creates something called thrust. But for the kite to fly perfectly, we need the thrust, that's the pulling on the kite line, and the drag, that's the force of the wind, to be the same. Let's see if I can fly the kite to show you those forces working in the air. Now the kite is in the air, the thrust of me pulling on the kite line and the drag of the wind pushing the kite away balance each other out. And that's what keeps the kite flying perfectly in the air. And now I can just stand back and enjoy it. <laughs> I loved seeing how a kite works. What was your favourite bit? Do you remember what you call the string that's attached to the kite? That's right, it's called the kite line. Did you hear the sound of the kites flapping in the wind? And did you see the way the wind caught our kite and it lifted into the air? Flying a kite in the wind is so much fun, isn't it? But did you know that we can use the wind to power other things too? It can help sail a boat, fly a hot air balloon, or turn a windmill. We can even use the wind to make electricity that will power things in our home. But to do that, we need something very big and very tall. We need one of these. Do you know what that is? It's a wind turbine. But do you know how a wind turbine makes electricity? Let's find out. How is it made? Electricity. To find out how electricity is made from the wind, I've come here to a wind farm. A wind farm is where lots of wind turbines produce lots of electricity. And you find them in windy places like this. The higher a wind turbine, the windier it is. And the windier it is, the faster the blades will turn around to make more electricity. At the top of every wind turbine, there are three giant propeller blades. One, two, three. They look like the propeller blades you might see on a plane, don't they? And they make a great swishing sound as they swish through the air. The blades have a special curved shape, which helps the wind move the blades round and round. Now, if you look closely at the middle, the part where all the blades are attached, can you see that circle shape? It's called the spinner because it spins around when the blades move. And the spinner is attached to the main body part called the nacelle. The nacelle can turn so that the blades are always facing the way the wind is blowing. Let me show you with this little windmill. When I face the windmill in the direction of the wind, it spins really fast. But when I turn it away from the wind, it stops. If I turn it to face the wind again, look, there it goes. That's because the wind is catching the blades and that's making them turn around. And exactly the same thing is happening all the way up there. But how do the wind turbines make electricity from the wind? To find out, I think we need to take a closer look. At the top of the wind turbine is something called a yaw system. The yaw system tells the blades which direction to face to catch the most wind. As the wind blows, the blades turn around. The blades are connected to big rings of magnets. And as the blades turn, they turn the rings of magnets around coils of copper wire. The turning makes energy in the copper wire, and this energy is called an electric current or electricity. And this is measured in volts. The stronger the electricity is, the more volts it has. The electricity travels through cables inside the tower to a machine called a transformer. 
it changes the weaker volts of electricity to stronger volts so that it can go further. The electricity travels to two different substations, which make it even stronger. Then it's sent along cables on pylons and delivered to our houses for us to use. How clever is that? We can make electricity from wind. I wonder what it looks like from all the way at the top of a wind turbine. Shall we find out? Andrew is a service technician, and Andrew's specially trained to go all the way to the top. Now, I'm going to give Andrew one of my special cameras, and I've also put one on his hard hat, and then we can watch everything that's going on inside the wind turbine on this screen just here. Andrew, over to you. This is so exciting. Before Andrew can go up, the turbine has to be turned off. From the ground to the top of the turbine, it's 90 metres. That's almost as tall as Big Ben. Wow! The tower is so tall, Andrew has to go up in a lift. There he goes, and it's a long way up. It will take about five minutes for Andrew to get to the top. It is so high up there. Oh, I think Andrew's reached the top. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, Andrew's waving. Wow. <laughs> and can you see all of those wind turbines in the distance? We can see for miles and miles, can't we? Now Andrew is safely clipping his harness so that he can look at the blades. And they're 55 metres long. The view up there is absolutely incredible. What an amazing job Andrew has. Now Andrew's back inside. Look, there's the generator. It has the magnets and copper wires inside that make the electricity. The electricity travels underground through the cables and it arrives here at the substation. And this is where the electricity from all of the wind turbines is collected. It's then sent through overhead cables attached to these huge metal towers called pylons. Can you see the cables? The pylons go for hundreds and hundreds of miles all over the country, delivering electricity to our homes, buildings and shops, ready for us to use. I loved seeing how electricity is made from the wind. What was your favourite bit? Do you remember what the part is called that the blades are attached to? That's right, it's the spinner. Did you hear the sound the wind turbines made? And did you see how high Andrew was when he reached the top of the turbine? So the next time you see a wind turbine, you'll know how it uses the wind to make electricity. And now you know how a kite works to fly high in the sky. I'll see you next time.